Hey there, welcome to Life Noggin. A lot can change over the course of a century. In the early 20th century, Einstein wrote his theory of relativity. In 1953, Jonas Salk announced that he had successfully created a polio vaccine. And in 1990, the World Wide Web was invented. Thank goodness, am I right? But what about the changes over a longer period of time? Like, a few million years? Obviously, the Earth was a drastically different place, but it makes me wonder, could you, a modern human, survive on Earth 2.5 million years ago? To start off, let's talk about the environment. You, my friend, would be living in the Pleistocene epoch, which spanned from 2.6 million years ago to 11,700 years ago. This was the time period in which most of the recent ice ages took place. During the peak periods where most of the water on Earth was ice, the global average temperatures were 5 to 10 degrees Celsius colder than they are today. This was a much cooler and drier Earth. So already, unless you have an incredibly insulating jacket, your chances of survival are looking pretty slim. During this time, you may have also bumped into one of your earliest human ancestors, Homo habilis. This species looked more like apes than humans, but were able to walk on their back legs and use their hands to make stone tools, hence its name, which means handyman. But luckily for you, if you encountered one of them, scientists are unsure if it would attack. The general consensus is that Homo habilis were vegetarians and didn't hunt anything but small game. So in this sense, you may not be in direct harm. But if you were to time travel back when they were around, I don't recommend poking them. But what about diseases? The prevailing idea on the origin of human disease is that many of them arose once animals were domesticated. However, with new data, it's thought that diseases like tapeworms, mycobacterial infections, tuberculosis, and leprosy were around during the Pleistocene epoch. And scientists believe that the bacteria B, Bronchoseptica, which infected hominids 2.5 million years ago, may have evolved into the bacteria that is now responsible for whooping cough. And even more, scientists have recently determined that the parasites that cause malaria were around 2.5 million years ago. The parasites were relatively benign at the time, and malaria only became a major disease after agriculture and dense human populations arose. But if you were living 2.5 million years ago without access to any of today's medicine, you would probably not make it too long. Well, that's kind of a sad note to end on, but it does make me appreciate the medicine that we have now. And also, on my phone, I just ordered food, a person to pick me up later, and somebody to walk my dog. You couldn't do that 2.5 million years ago, that's for sure. And if you're interested in a comedic perspective of what happened back in your parents' day, check out this video from the hilarious Casually Explained. Well, I was with my pal Bob Tucker on our way to school, and we were about to make the last turn of our usual route, and I'll be damned if there wasn't a 10-ton Tyrannosaur staring us right in the face. Dad, there was not a 10-ton Tyrannosaurus staring you right in the face. You need to check it out. There's a link in the description if you're on mobile. As always, I'm Blocko. This has been Life Noggin. Don't forget to keep on thinking.